It is another glorious day in the Indev Plus mod, and we have made so much progress. The apple orchard looks better than I expected it to. The wheat farm is doing better than I expected it to. And really soon I'm going to make separate gardens for the watermelons and the pumpkins. As you can see, I've made a few changes to the border surrounding our house. It is keeping the mobs at bay, but I do not like this dirt right here. I think I'm going to replace it with gravel so we need to go find some gravel and I could do that in this world but uh, the Sun is setting so we don't really have any daylight to get anything done but I do need to go mining so I might as well go explore the caves for a little while okay hopefully it's not too dark for you guys to see I have placed some torches around we are not far from where I was last time we were here which is awesome because there are still emeralds here and that is exactly what we need oh and by the way golden tools have the silk touch effect so whatever you mine up with a golden pickaxe is going to silk touch it as you can see we have emerald ore I think that would be fun to take home and mine all at once I don't know Oh, easy there. Okay, we'll just go out the back side. Oh, looks like we've got emeralds here too. Just kind of need to lug this hole up. Oh. oh, no. This is bad. Diamond sword. Are they above me? Oh, there you are. Come on. Come this way. You know you want to. Where'd he go? Oh. Go get him. Go, 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 go. Gotcha. I hear a bat. Where's the bat? The zombie is not top priority when there is a bat. Where is it? I think it's above me? I'm not sure. But I do want this gravel. Oh, and it looks like we got some flint as well. Oh, I forgot all about the creepy sounds. And they always tend to play at the perfect time. I hear a skeleton, but I don't know where he is. I'm gonna get my sword out. Okay, nothing. I was worried for nothing. 31 ore already. Oh, and there's more here. Don't mind if I do. Well, my golden axe broke, so I'm gonna teleport back to the home real quick and make a new one. Got a golden sword here. Um... Where's my gold? Where did I put my gold? Here it is. Here it is. I'm actually ashamed to say that I've almost run out of iron, and that can be quite a pain in the butt. Mostly because I have to carry a stone pickaxe around, at least until I find some iron, and then I have to smelt that down before I can even make the new iron pick. Here we go. And my stone pick is almost broken, so I might as well make a new stone pick while I'm at it. Whoa. <laughs> How'd he come up the stair? The zombie came up the ladder. That's not cool. How did he do that? I've never seen them do that before. But now that I have seen it, I'm going to do this. Can I still get up here? Yes. So that's bad. I need to figure out how to stop that. Anyways, I'm going to put my mob drops in here. And then we're going to go back to the mines. I hear an enemy around the corner somewhere, but I'm going to pretend I don't know about it and just keep mining. And maybe they will go away. I'm actually really glad that we keep finding gravel as well. There are a few uses I have planned for this. Alrighty, we're doing pretty good. I think I should grab my torches here and go look around a bit. We need to find some iron and also some diamonds. I don't feel safe jumping across that. Oh, that hurt. There's got to be some diamonds or something around here. Maybe I should jump down. Oh, I see one of those trees in the distance. I'm going to try and make my way to it because I really want some of that moss. This tunnel will probably lead us right to it. Oh, there's some iron. I see you. Oh, there's multiple. I got shot in the back. It's a, it's a bat. Oh, this is bad. Okay, okay. Okay. I got you. Jerk. I need food. Oh, I don't want to teleport out of here. That's cheesing it. 
But I also don't want to die. Oh, it's just a slime boy. I see the tree. We're getting closer. Get off me. I should have brought some food. Oh, more iron. I'm going to grab this right now. Oh, there's a lot of it, too. Well, I almost fell to my demise once again. I want to avoid doing that. Very nice. I say just break this and let it fall down there, and then maybe we go down there and pick it up. I really should have brought some food. I am in danger. If a bat swoops in right now, I am toast. Where are my torches? 13, let's fix that. Oh my god. Thank you. Nice. I want to get more of these. I know I'm pushing my luck right now, but I really don't care. Okay, this is a good stopping point, I think. We haven't died. We haven't fallen. We haven't been bitten by another bat. I've got some torches here. There's some resources close by. This is a perfect spot for us to just stop and go back home. Hardcore for sure, yeah. Uh, hardcore has been added to the Indev Plus mod. So, you know, if you want to do a hardcore challenge, it is very easy to just create a new character, and change your game mode to hardcore. But remember, if this character dies, then you lose everything, including all of the worlds that you created with that character. Which is kinda awesome, because, you know, I love Minecraft challenges. Okay, so the mod has been updated, and there are a few changes. Before, I was making barrels like this. As you can see, that recipe no longer works. Now, method has added the recipe book to the game, so you can actually go check out all of the recipes on your own. But small changes like this are hard to notice, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's up right now. Whoops. The only thing that has changed is you have to add an emerald to the center so that you can craft a barrel. Which is actually kind of nice, because it adds another use for emeralds, and with barrels being something that you can place down and fill with other objects, kind of like a shulker box, that makes them somewhat OP if you can just make them out of wood. Okay, let's place down this iron. I was mining it up with a golden pickaxe because I was panicking and I was in a big hurry. There we go. And put that in the furnace. Time to make a new iron pick. I can hear the skeletons dying outside. That's good. Just do a quick perimeter check, make sure nobody's around. Okay, I think we're safe. First things first, I want to chop down these emeralds. Up we go. Woo-wee, would you look at that. You can see the whole island from up here. It's a shame we have to break this emerald tower down. What are you doing? You're not supposed to... Well, okay, he... Unexisted. Fine. Well, would you look at that? Mm, I remember getting more than one emerald per ore, but maybe I'm remembering all wrong. It's probably a good thing that we don't get more than one for every ore that we find. Now, um, okay, so barrels aren't the only thing that have been changed. Now, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of InDev. And these are from Vanilla InDev. These are cogs. You can place these on blocks, so long as it's on the side of a block and not on the ground. See, it only goes on the side of a block. Now, the idea behind these things is that they are supposed to be redstone. Before redstone, the idea is that you would place these cogs and you would place a power source and the power source would turn one cog and then the next and then the next. And you could basically create machines that did work for you. So basically redstone machines were an idea long before the infinite terrain generation. Now what does this have to do with emeralds? Let's see if I'm correct this might be what I'm looking for. Here we go yeah a generator. Let's grab a fuel source and go test this really quick. So you place the generator, let's put some wire, and you place the cogs. Then you place your fuel source in the generator and activate it. Well that's not working properly. Do I have to put a cog on the generator it's maybe you can't use wood on the generator okay let's try coal 
Imagine actually burning fossil fuels for power. Come on, Method. When are you adding the gasifier? Okay, and put coal, and now activate. Oh, there we go. Yep. The Industrial Revolution, indeed. This changes everything. Now you might be thinking, Banclam, this is neat and all, but what the heck does this have to do with emeralds? I know, I know, I'm beating around the bush, I'll get straight to it. And once again, if I'm correct, I think this is the recipe I need to find. I'm gonna go ahead and press F2. Hopefully I've screenshotted these recipes. The scroll wheel is a little bit sensitive, so navigation is somewhat difficult but really that's my fault now we need glass and more cogs break down this coal we need a couple of torches torch in the center glass in the corners emeralds on the side cogs on the top and bottom and that is how you make lamps and for each set of materials you can craft exactly two. Oh, these lamps are cool and now where's is did i leave the fuel in the generator i hope i did but uh i'll just place one of these lamps here and turn the generator on see that now you can't you can't tell because it's the middle of the day but that lamp is creating light that is basically your redstone lights in the indev plus mod honestly i wish i had these for my city in indev hell but I don't want to use a whole bunch of technology and stuff in this world because, well, basically I want this world to be like the fantasy farm world that you usually come across in something like an old Zelda game or whatever. I'm glad that didn't shatter. I just like building stuff like that, you know? Oh, looks like we've run out of daylight, so I'm just going to wait uh, the night out, and then I'm going to change this dirt into gravel, because I think it will look a lot nicer than it does right now. Just going to put my stuff up here. Now, these lamps, they used to cost adminium, so everybody go thank Method for being lenient on this lighting system, because before, before the lamps were so expensive that you were not likely to get any at all. Oh yes, also, I'm sorry for what I said about the beds. They work very nice. If you get hurt and your health depletes a little bit and you sleep in the bed, it heals you. See that? Not bad, huh? So yeah, the beds are not completely worthless. I was being a drama queen, and I may have been over-exaggerating just for the fun of it. But hey, the beds are nice. Skipping through the night is cheesy anyway, especially when you're playing Indev Plus, because even though I'm building and stuff, the intention is for you to survive and not necessarily build and stuff like that. Well, the next day has come, but it's raining. Not much I can do about that, but hopefully you guys can see okay. We don't exactly have a monumentous task here. You know, that looks a lot better. I like that. Just gonna do it on the other sides now. Over here. Look at that guy. He's chilling. Hopefully he doesn't try to bother me. Maybe we should just go and bother him. Why not? We can just sneak up on him here. <coughs> His arrows aren't very effective underwater. That wasn't so hard. I do need another shovel though. Let's go in here and make one really quick. Grab an iron bar here, make the shovel and get back to it. Now I don't know what I should do about this. Should I just go by two now? I mean, what could it hurt? Hmm. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look bad. Now the hardest part is just going out here and doing this side on the water. Well, this was easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm sure I have more than enough gravel. We'll just start at this end and work our way down. Look at that. Nice. What are you doing? Get out of my orchard. It's going to blow something up. That looks way better. Oh my gosh. Can you even tell it's an indev? That's what's so great about Methods Mod, is it's a perfect mix of old school and new school. And a lot of things that Mojang just should have put in the game. Some of those things I've been meaning to show you guys, but... Dude! Ugh! Ugh! Frustrating! Getting grass to grow under a post is impossible. I don't think it works. And the grass under these posts keeps disappearing, and now I know why. I'm gonna leave that right there, and if the grass doesn't grow back, then I now I know what's happening. Oh, hey. Looks like the sun's coming out. 
Ah. Well, it finally stopped raining. Oh, look, grass is growing on this path. Is that supposed to happen? I mean, it kind of it kind of looks nice. It breaks up the pattern a little bit, but is it intentional? That's that's the thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Still looks good even in the daylight. I'm trying to do something a little bit different with this video, and I hope that it performs well because this is the type of content I would much rather make. But the truth is that YouTube doesn't really reward you for doing what people ask you to do. It rewards you for doing things that makes YouTube money. And trust me, I know all about wanting to make money. I know I'm not going to be able to make everybody happy, and I just have a really hard time figuring out what I want to say most of the time. But at the very least, I try to make stuff that I would like to watch myself and not just some boring dribble that gets thrown onto the platform expecting you to watch it because I'm special or some BS like that. Oh, dude, look at all these sheep. Sorry, guys. I probably shouldn't kill them, but, you know, I can't help it. Dude, look at all those. They spawned over there, too. Now, I'm going to warn you guys. If you're going to play this mod, it's still in dev. Things are buggy. As you saw over there, that skeleton just died. And we got a creeper right here. I mean, it's not perfect. Expect things to be difficult. Expect to get ambushed from nowhere. But hey, if you can prosper and you can, like, have a nice base, then mad props, man. I, I, I'm seriously, I love this mod. And I feel like the difficulty that comes with playing a mod like this uh, makes everything you do that much more rewarding. Dude, you are in quite the predicament, aren't you? Here, I'll help you. <laughs> Let's go check that patch of grass under this fence post. Where was it? Oh, man. Yep. Yeah, it's still there. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Psh, maybe maybe the grass just should die. I don't know. Oh, you know what I realized? I never got to that tree in the cave, and I never got that moss. Oh, I want to go get it now. The sun's setting. It's a sign. What's the worst thing that can happen? I'm going to put a barrel up here. I'm going to fill it up with this raw meat, because I am not leaving without food this time. All right, let's do this. I'm going to grab some of this iron before we take off. Get out of here. No, you don't. Ha! These guys don't want me to get anything. I can't let them stop me, though. Oh, 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 he made his way back up here. Now, I remember that thing being somewhere around here. Where are my torches? I don't have any. That's... that's fantastic. You guys probably can't see all of that, but there's so much iron. Last time, I didn't bring food, and this time, I didn't bring any light. Band Clam the freaking genius. Oh, here's some trees. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, where is he? Ooh. No. How? How? They really don't want me to get these trees. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get to that? Look at this one. And now I hear a bat. Could things get any worse? Who am I kidding? Things could totally get worse. Here's some coal. Now, if I can just get to one of these trees, the mobs do not ease up, even for a second. So if you just stand in one spot like a dummy, you will end up dead. Or in my case, double dead. And probably sent back home, if you know what I mean. Finally. Hopefully this thing drops a sapling. Come on. Come on, sapling. <sighs> Why did it fall down there? Oh, we got one anyway. Cool. I want to get that one too because there's no guarantee that I'll get a sapling out of this one. Nothing is scarier than mining with your back turned to these open caves. Man, how much iron is here? It just keeps going and going and going. I mean, I'm not complaining, but sheesh. Well, my pick broke. This is a good spot to save. And just like that, we're home sweet home. We got nearly two and a half stacks of raw iron. I know it's still the middle of the night, but I'm gonna go plant these saplings. Now, I'm pretty sure that these things only grow short, but hopefully I'm wrong, because I'd like to have a lot of this dark oak. We'll just have to wait and see. I just realized that I've forgotten to show you guys something. Signs. Signs just happens to be one of those things that I really wished was an end of, and wouldn't you know it, Method struck gold again. Okay, I think that's enough signs. A lot of people have been asking me to build sky islands, and I haven't really replied to them because you can actually create a sky island. You just select the floating type, and you can even pick a theme. 
So you can have paradise, woods, shroom land, normal, or hell even. But let's go with a normal floating world. And I'm going to get rid of the starter house. We don't need that. And there you have it. Generated by popular demand, we are now in our very own sky dimension. And there are unique enemies here, so you've got to watch out. And you know what? This is where I'm going to put the names of the people who have left comments on my InDev Plus series. I honestly feel very blessed to have people like you coming and watching my videos every time I upload them. So in order to show my appreciation, I'm going to place all of your names here. Method. Soybean56, Sylvia TV, Sink, 21st Century Caco Taco, Humble Variety Show, Arthur Jeremy P Arthur Jeremy Pearson, Nightwing80, Duck Farmer Gaming, Harley, Block Dog, Blobby Fishman, Cap Kyle, BD Bricks, Allison, Mine Brandon, Murtad, Spellcasting, Hardline American, Josh Sullivan, Atlas, Caden TMG, The Juicy Roma, Zavexer, Sage Puddings, Alice Elias Krieger, Siri, Shigora, Shigorath, Shigorath, Zorals, Mochi Wan, and a few other names. If your name is on a sign and you want me to remove it, just let me know. What a pain in the butt. Come here. Get off me. Those things are dreadful. And these names are the only names that are going up here on top. From now on, when I place names in this world, they will go on lower islands. So, you know, make a comment. That way you don't end up on the bottom island.